It is our great joy to celebrate Billie Jean Baker as she receives this award. I help people because it's the right thing to do. I've had a lot of help over the years myself and there's a lot of people that are just like me that don't know how to ask for help. So if I go and offer it to them, then, then they're more comfortable and they're able to get the help they need. And the reason why I do it is because I know it's the next right thing to do. And that's what God tells us all to do is to do the next right thing and that makes Him happy. So in the end, it'll make me happy. Billie Jean finds ways to take care of people's spiritual and physical needs. And that's what it means to be a Methodist. I came to the church here and I was sleeping on the property. And I thought, well, if I'm gonna sleep on the church property, I, I, I like the church service anyways, I ought to attend church. And for some reason, the rest of the homeless community wanted to follow my lead and follow me through the doors. It was a Sunday morning in late December that Billie Jean came up to me between worship services and said, Pastor, I wanna to talk to you about maybe the possibility that I could come inside tonight. You know, I, I kept blankets and clean clothes and stuff, so I stayed warm, but there was a lot of homeless out here on the streets that were freezing to death overnight because they didn't acquire the things that I had. So I, I was singing in the choir here and, and going to church, and the night before, I had had on a Saturday night, I had three of the homeless see me walking around and, and tell me, well, I'm a member of this big old church, why don't I go and see if they'll open the doors and let them sleep inside? So the next morning at 8 o'clock that morning, when they opened the church doors, I went in and I grabbed Reverend Rachel's arm and I said, come, I need to talk to you. She said, no, I need to go. I said, no, no, this is important. It's life and death. One thing led to another, and by the time we had our next service, we announced that we would open for our very first shelter on that evening. And we're able to rally folks to come and volunteer in that next service. We had food and everything, and the church doors were open for the first time, and people slept right there in the sanctuary, on the floor and on the pews, and it, it, it's gone on since. That moment was groundbreaking for us here at Oakland. It set the path for us to welcome people inside, not just on freezing nights and not just for shelter, but also for a place of community and to experience what it is to be loved. And so I'm so grateful for the witness of Billie Jean, not just in paving the way for us to open shelter, but also for building connections and relationships with so many people who found themselves in very similar circumstances to her. I believe that's my calling, to, to help the homeless folks and, and other people hear the word of God and, you know, just, just be able to, I stand up for those that can't stand up for themselves because I have a loud voice and I have pink hair, so people are going to pay attention to me. I didn't know we would end up with like a campus of Union at the Valencia Apartments, but in many ways that's what's happened because she brings our worship there. Since we have the pandemic and most of your churches are not open and stuff, I have a Bluetooth speaker and Union does their church service live on Facebook and I hook it up to my Bluetooth speaker and I set it outside. There, there's three little Latino children. They can't go to church because of the pandemic right now. So I play the church service for the Union on Sundays and, and Tuesday nights. And they'll come outside and they like the Misfit Band and they like to hear God's Word. One of the little girls even brings her Bible all the time. And then I even have a lot of my other neighbors that'll come out on their porches and stuff because it's on a Bluetooth speaker and they can hear it just so they can hear the Word of God. Billie Jean has continued to be exactly that kind of evangelistic spirit that you pray that your congregants will be. I'm really grateful for the ways that Billie Jean is in ministry, the way that she's made Union and Oak Lawn better churches and more faithful to the calling that Jesus puts upon our lives.